There you go. You need that big old scoop shovel that I use to clean the coops with. So we are doing a little bit of cleanup under the apple tree. Getting all the rotten apples out of there. It does look a lot better under there. We were just talking about how we wish that we had a pig or two, because if we did, these apples would be perfect to go feed them. In fact, several years ago when we did have one, that's what we did, is we fed all of our apples that fell to the pigs. I've been feeding them to the chickens, but the chickens can't keep up. So we're going to take all this and then go add it to our compost pile. Our apples are almost to the point of being ripe. We've been picking a few and eating them, and they're pretty tasty. Here shortly I'm going to have to get busy canning apples and maybe making applesauce and all that kind of stuff. That apple was pretty tasty. Turkeys are roaming around enjoying being able to be free. They're doing a great job of returning to their coop at night. Oh, an apple already fell off. This one did too. It will fall off right in my mouth. <laughs> so how is it? Tasty. I love these apples. It'd be a nice addition to the compost pile. So we came out to get the goats. They were way out here in this new addition. So we decided to walk out here and see how they were enjoying this area. Sweet pea. We are getting ready to worm them. We worm our goats with Ivamec injectable, but we give it to them orally. It is one cc per 50 pounds. Basically, just to open their mouth and squirt it into the side. They don't really mind too much. Some of them mind more than others. Yeah. But then you feed them a little bit and then they'll forget. And while they're doing that, we we'll trim the hooks. Right. And you can see that all of this neat really needs to be trimmed off. She gets leaning into me so bad here too. It's just me, but I always like taking a tip off just a little bit, just like that. To me, that one trimmed up really good. There we go. Spraying them down with a little fly spray while we got them caught. They don't quite like the expanded metal. There you go, you get five done. Five done and what? Seven more to go? Yeah. So I'm out in the garden picking some salad fixings for supper. And as you can see here is my little tiny cucumber patch. And look at all the cucumbers I've picked from it so far. Just when I think I'm all done finding them, I find more. Now I'm going to pick some of these tomatoes. 
so many on here that I can't even begin to pick them all. There's a rooster eyeballing my tomatoes here. Here you go, rooster. There you go. Whoop. Here, rooster. Come here. Here, rooster. There you go. You heard there's some tomatoes over here, huh? Here you go. Uh-oh, the word spread. Now everybody thinks they need some tomatoes. There you go. So it's just hubby and I for supper tonight, so I figured I'm going to make some pork chops and then a baked salad to go along with them. And so I decided to come out here and pick some beans to fix up too. These beans are really nice. I wish I'd have gotten them picked over the weekend like I wanted to, but we just had too many things going on. Just look at all those beans. Getting them picked is gonna have to be number one on my list tomorrow. There, that ought to be enough beans for just hubby and I tonight. So one thing I love about fall is the crops. The beans and tomatoes, even the cucumbers. Everything just tastes so much better during the fall for some reason. Maybe it's just the cool weather. I don't know what it is, but I like it.